Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. It really helps out my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Quibi. Quibi is the newest member of the streaming wars, competing directly with Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Apple TV, just to name a few. But where Quibi differentiates is that every episode on the platform is 10 minutes or less. And the episodes, even though they say 10 minutes or less, they're usually in between 6 and 8 minutes, which is pretty doable. It's shorter than a YouTube video for some. Think of it almost like Netflix and TikTok combined. You're taking the shorter attention span and combining it with major studios, major actors and actresses to produce quality content. So in today's video, we are going to review Quibi and we'll talk about the features, the price, and the content. I watched a lot of the shows on there and I have some thoughts. So let's jump into it. Let's start with features. So Quibi is very different from its competitors because it's optimized for your phone. When you watch a Quibi show, you can watch it both horizontally, but also where Quibi is a game changer is you can flip it and watch it vertically. And it automatically fits that content to your phone. It's not just whatever's in the middle, it's optimized for both horizontal and vertical watching. And I'll fast forward to when there's a person so you can get an example. So here's someone's face. So you can see vertically, fits to the face which is sick like I found myself watching this and I would just go I would keep going from horizontal to vertical just to see what I was missing or see if I was missing anything and I really wasn't so I really enjoyed that feature of Quibi another thing is its design is beautiful when you flip it to vertical it fits everything to the vertical screen even the way you fast forward you would think that the fast forward would remain horizontal, but it doesn't. It's actually vertical. So it really does fit everything to your screen. And then when you flip it back horizontal, the controls also flip as well. So Quibi also releases content every single day. So with Netflix and Apple TV, Netflix usually releases everything all at once. Sometimes it doesn't, but Apple TV usually releases a new episode every week. Quibi releases a new episode every single weekday. So I'm interested to see how long these seasons and these shows will last because they are short format episodes of 10 minutes or less. So how long will they last per season? And you can follow them. Quibi works by following the show you wanna watch every day. So those are some of the features. Now let's get into the price before we jump into the content. Since Quibi is relatively new, you can click the link in my description and get a free 90 day trial, which is pretty awesome. It's not an affiliate link and it's not sponsored at all. I'm just using the same link Quibi offers when you sign up. And then once that trial expires, it is either $4.99 a month for the ad supported version or $7.99 a month for the ad free version, which isn't too bad price wise. So now let's get into the content, which is my favorite part. So I watched a lot of the shows on Quibi. I tried to watch a variety of genres to see how they compared to an Apple TV or a Netflix and how I felt watching it in the palm of my hand in short format episodes. So before I even opened Quibi, I did have some hesitations. Will Quibi just be a movie split up in 10 parts and called an episode? So will it be marketed as an episode, but it's just a movie? That was one of my hesitations going into it, and for some of the shows, I found that to be the case for how it felt. It definitely, for some of the shows, felt like I was watching a movie that was just split up into parts, and sometimes it felt at random too. I felt if it's a movie format, in some instances, I didn't know if I would want to watch it every day. I think I would just rather watch it in one sitting. So that was my hesitation going into it. but. When I downloaded Quibi and got right into it, it both was and wasn't what I initially thought it would be. So I started off by watching Survive, which is a show featuring Sophie Turner from Game of Thrones. And it was a very heavy show at first. I 100% knew that it was a show I would not want to be watching every day. 
It was a show that I would rather watch in the form of a movie or in a Netflix setting where I could just binge watch it and be done versus watching it daily. When I watched Survive, they showed scenery. It was a little slow in the beginning. I actually found myself pressing the fast forward 10 seconds button because they showed a lot of scenery and in a six minute episode, you've got to cut that down. So I wasn't too impressed with Survive at first, but then as I got to episodes six and seven, it really took off. It really became action packed and it was something that, it took a turn that I wasn't expecting and I am glad it did because then it made it more obviously suited for Quibi. Then I watched When the Street Lights Go On, which is by far my favorite show on the platform. And it's a murder mystery, kind of a coming of age tale, and it's really good. When you watch that show, you definitely know that it's fit for Quibi. It was produced by Paramount too, which is such a big studio. So to have Paramount produce these short form episodes really added to the quality of the content. In that case, each episode felt very fit for Quibi. It felt almost like reading a book chapter where it has a definitive ending, but still leaves you wanting more. So that is definitely a show I would see myself watching every day. Quibi also succeeds in a couple of different areas. So when you have that murder mystery of when the streetlights go on, I think that's the best content on Quibi so far. But there's also comedy and news, which Quibi does amazingly. For comedy shows like Punked, Quibi brought back Punked. And I remember watching Punked on MTV way back, where it was 30 minutes long, and at times some of the episodes dragged. Because it was just waiting for the punchline where someone was like, surprise, you're Punked. But on Quibi, the episodes are six minutes long, which is a lot more organic. Watching it felt a lot more natural. It felt like there were no extra parts just to fill up time. So that's where Punked is really a perfect fit for Quibi. And then there's also Chrissy's Court where Chrissy Teigen takes in real cases and tries to solve them comedically. And I thought that that show was really funny. It kind of reminded me of the dancing lobsters on the Amanda show way back. So I really liked that as well. And then for news, so when you click on a news episode, there's news released daily. So this is BBC News, right? So I'm gonna click on it. And then if I pause it, it gives you the certain sections. So you can jump to a section and know which subject it's focusing on, which is almost like Snapchat. I think the news is perfect for Snapchat because you can just tap and you can get the story. That's kind of how it feels on Quibi, but you get more content. And then there's also inspirational shows like Thanks a Million where celebrities will donate and give back to their communities. There's a ton of content on Quibi of a variety of genres, which is really great. Quibi's learning what works and what doesn't. It is new and for it to be so new and this is what it's producing, I think it's great. One thing I noticed was that I did want to binge watch these shows. Like when you sit down to watch a show or when you sit down to watch a movie, it's kind of that meditative aspect where you're sitting because you want to relax. You want to just turn something on and turn your mind off. But with Quibi, it felt a little weird at first watching it like in my hand, like I'm watching this show and then my hand was getting hot and my hand was cramping after a while if I binge watched it. I do definitely feel more fatigue watching Quibi shows, but this is where like in the future of technology, the vertical TVs of Samsung would do pretty well with this. And TikTok, I would love to watch TikTok on that TV. That would be kind of sick. I also felt the disconnect when I was binge watching these shows and I had to keep pressing play at the end of every episode. Every six minutes I had to go to the next episode which is like a trivial thing, but when you watch something on Netflix, you just sit for a little bit of time, like 30 minutes to who knows, but you can just sit. Whereas on Quibi, you definitely have to press next, find the next episode, which did kind of annoy me. I wish it had the option of binge watching or just continually going, because a lot of these shows do operate very similarly to a movie, where you can watch multiple episodes and just feel like you're watching a movie. So I would like that option down the line, but for now, I still do think Quibi is worth giving it a try. I think the show When the Streetlights Go On is fantastic. 
Like, I don't know how long these shows are gonna go. I don't know, 30 episodes, 40 episodes, who knows if it's gonna be longer or even shorter. But the cast of these shows is phenomenal. Big names and big studios. So I definitely think it's worth giving it a try and remembering Quibi because I think it's gonna be around for a long time and I think it's here to stay. And then like way down the line, how will the awards seasons work? Because some of these shows are quality enough to the point of almost being nominated for awards. So will award shows recognize these short format shows? Will there be a new category created for short format web series or something for like the Oscars or Screen Actors Guild? How will that work? I'm interested to know and I'm interested to know your thoughts if you have any. So yeah, definitely give Quibi a try if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments some of your favorite shows on Quibi or your hesitations. If you have any questions about Quibi, I'm here to answer them. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. I post a new video every Thursday, sometimes more. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.